I'd been watching them for about ten minutes. Watch them smirk at each other like a couple of teenagers on a first date. Watch the damn man fawn over her like some gigolo on a mission. Watched her. Helen, who stole my heart the moment I saw her twenty-three years ago, respond to his advances in ways. A married woman just shouldn't do. Okie. Okay. I knew the affair, or rather potential affair, was in its very early stages. But given that I knew the progress of the bastard sitting next to her, I wasn't going to stand by and risk things going that far. I headed an involuntary sigh of relief as I noticed my man George Big George to his friends emerge from the neighboring driveway and nonchalantly head towards them, holding my breath as he struck up a conversation with them. Helen didn't know him. Of course, no one close to me knew that I knew guys like George, let alone that they worked for me. Then, with a smile, he handed the women a piece of paper and note, so to speak, and then promptly disappeared into the crowd around them. The note was short and to the point, and... The woman's mouth dropped open in shock as she read it, looking around in desperation, looking for someone, but not finding me hidden from view as I was. Of course. I knew what it said. I wrote it, and you must know, too. Helen, you've got ten seconds. I know what you've been doing, and I know who you've been doing it with. I know you haven't slept with him yet, but I know your bra is in his pocket. You need to decide how important your marriage is to you, and you have ten seconds to make that decision. Walk away from him now, don't say a word to him, and don't look back. Leave and come home, and we will never talk about this incident, and our marriage will continue or all hell will break loose. The ten seconds starts now time to make a decision. I watched the color drain from her face and even from this distance I could see tears come to her eyes, damn it. She was so damn beautiful, so perfect in every detail. There wasn't a single element of her that I could improve upon. There would never be another person in my life who could replace her. And I would be willing to go to the ends of the earth to solve that problem without conflict. And this was coming from someone like me whose entire life consisted of conflict. I have spent my life surrounded by conflict and made a fortune from it but it was Helen my Helen the one and only. Helen, the only one I ever had. The man he tried to take her hand perplexed as to what was going on, but to my relief. Helen shoved him away. I have to go. She sobbed, clearly violating her instructions, but I was prepared to ignore it. As she pushed him away and walked away without another word, he tried to follow her. Of course he did, but he was thwarted when George reappeared from his surroundings and confronted him, his face much more menacing than it had been before. The man whose name was Mike, if it mattered, thought to object, but very quickly changed his mind when George calmly explained to him the consequences of such a course of action, and his eloquence was enough to persuade Mike to walk away uncertainly in the opposite direction. Another sigh of relief, and, okay, maybe I was being soft. I've eliminated people for less than what happened this evening, and I wasn't done with Mike the human but Helen. There was only one Helen in my life, and forgiveness was not an issue. Yes, I had forgiven her as I had forgiven countless transgressions over the past 23 years, and would for the rest of my life they had always been minor, never reaching this magnitude, and that was why I needed. To do it this way it may seem strange, but I had never been so cruel to her to Helen before. Yes, I had forgiven Helen, but the question was, would her husband find out my son-in-law and was a really great guy worked for me, and hopefully will take over someday? But will he forgive her good question, and not one I wanted to experience? Daddy, she sobbed running up to me that day. I was so stupid, so damn stupid. What's wrong, my sweetheart? I asked, taking my daughter in my arms, unable to contain the smile on my face. Hell, I never could. I did something really unforgivable. Daddy, she admitted to me, found out, and he's going to kick me out. Eh, maybe not, honey. I tried to reassure her knowing that in fact raised by me might well be tempted to do more than kick her out. Remember what happened to your mother. Oh my God. She cried out what I almost did, what mom did, what you did. Oh God wouldn't do that. Would he? Don't say anything more about this, Helen. I told her, go home to your husband, keep your counsel and move on with your life. Don't put in a position where he has to react to what you did. Don't make the mistake your mother made five years ago. And so it happened. Never learned anything, at least as far as I know, although who can know when it comes to a guy as impulsive? As he was my daughter, Helen, who received the appropriate punishment and hopefully learned her lesson will not make the mistake my wife did. There is a chance that life will go on in Helen and will have a happy and long marriage, 
if only my wife's father had been around to prevent the unpleasant disaster that ended my own marriage. That Mike. George told me that I and other fathers would no longer have to worry about him messy, but the deed was done and all it took was a mere ten seconds. I could be more specific, but I want you to think about it. A wife is a precious thing, but what would you do for a daughter? 